The tortoise plodded on and on. When the hare awoke from his nap, he saw the tortoise near the winning post, but he could not run fast enough in time to save the race. Then the tortoise said, Slow and steady wins the race. They shall record of thee that David here himself surrendered to ferocious Saul. March forth, O Israel, from thy peaceful tents. March forth from them, O king. The hottest places in hell are reserved for those who in times of great moral crisis maintain their neutrality. There never was such beauty in another man. Nature made him and then broke the mold. You man are fool enough, it seems, to dare to war with women, when for your faithful ally you might win us easily. I cannot fix on the hour or the spot or the look of the words which laid the foundation. I was in the middle before I knew that I had begun. May God forbid the deed. A king of France shall not be harmed by me. If he forgives me, I'll be his man of liege and hold from him all my lands in fief. The disease of suspicion is never in my being, for I am a king who can respect the friendship that flowers between a man and a woman. Oh, you're a very bad man. Oh, no, my dear. I'm a very good man. I'm just a very bad wizard. Tom opened his eyes and looked upon his master. Ye poor, miserable critter, he said. There ain't no more ye can do. I forgive you with all my soul, and he fainted entirely away. The cunning waste their pains, the wise men vex their brains, but the simpleton who seeks no gains, with belly full, he wanders free as drifting boat upon the sea. But I don't want to go among mad people, Alice remarked. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. How do you know I'm mad, said Alice. Well, you must be, said the cat or you wouldn't have come here. Now look, your grace, said Sancho. What you see over there are not giants, but windmills, and what seem to be arms are just sails that go around in the wind and turn the millstone. Obviously, replied Don Quixote, you don't know much about adventures. Yet do not miss the moral, my good men, for St. Paul says all that's written well is written down some useful truth to tell. Then take the wheat and let the chaff lie still. Why do I hear a note of sadness that rings my heart in this cry of a pure soul? If at any time you should have need of my life, come and take it. To the ears of one possessed by the god of death, reason and objection seem like so many idle complaints. Chingachip grasped the hand that in the warmth of feeling the scout had stretched across the fresh earth, and in that attitude of friendship these intrepid woodsmen bowed their heads together, while scalding tears fell to their feet, watering the grave of Uncas like drops of falling rain. He vaguely desired to walk around and around the body and stare, the impulse of the living to try to read in dead eyes the answer to the question. Bagpipes of Spain... Ye that can sing, that which is sweetest to us in the spring. You first sing of gladness, and then sing of pain, as deep and as bitter as the billowed main. You may be an undigested bit of beef, a blot of mustard, a crumb of cheese, a fragment of underdone potato. There's more of gravy than of grave about you, whatever you are. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves, and immortality. Pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. The really great men must, I think, have great sadness on earth. Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. All for one, one for all, that is our device. Gatsby believed in the green light, the orgastic future that year by year recedes before us. It eludes us then, but that's no matter. Tomorrow we will run faster, stretch out our arms further, and one fine morning... 
When scholars study a thing, they strive to kill it first. If it's alive, then they have the parts, and they'll be lost the whole, for the link that's missing was the living soul. It is no use to blame the looking-glass if your face is awry. Happiness always looks small while you hold it in your hands, but let it go, and you learn at once how big and precious it is. And the seeming confusion of a mysterious world, individuals are so nicely adjusted to a system and systems to one another and to a whole, that by stepping aside for a moment, a man exposes himself to a fearful risk of losing his place forever. I'm a gaucho, and take this from me, as my tongue explains it to you. For me, the earth is a small place, and could be bigger yet. Men are so quick to blame the gods. They say that we devise their misery. But they themselves, in their depravity, design grief greater than the grief that fate assigns. The greatest happiness in life is the conviction that we are loved. Loved for ourselves, or rather, loved in spite of ourselves. To love another person is to see the face of God. And he would have passed a pleasant life of it, in despite of the devil and all his works if his path had not been crossed by a being that causes more perplexity to mortal man than ghosts, goblins, and the whole race of witches put together, and that was a woman. I fell asleep sorrowful, filled with a vague foreboding of coming trouble. That lock of hair taken from a boy's head, that precaution of love against death, even in the presence of abounding life, caused my thoughts to wander all night about those scenes where I had passed, without knowing it, the happiest hours of my life. Yesterday is but a dream. Tomorrow is only a vision. But today well lived makes every yesterday a dream of happiness, and every tomorrow a vision of hope. The moving finger writes, and having writ, moves on nor all thy piety nor wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line, nor all thy tears wash out a word of it. Argent pearls did my tears seem, yet with the passing years Chinese crimson have they become. And the first rude sketch that the world has seen was joy to his heart, till the devil whispered behind the leaves, It's pretty, but is it art? The passions evoked by clouds and rain, joining their heads and twining their necks within the bed curtains, truly, when feelings converge, one is apt to forget what happens to a brocade girdle. A woman has to live her life, or live to repent not having lived it. I fall back on falsehood, but falsehood of a most consistent variety, for I now make the only true statement you are to expect that I am a liar. This defense is, I consider, a full defense against all imputations. Yet some men say in many parts of England that King Arthur is not dead, but had by the will of our Lord Jesus into another place, and men say that he shall come again. Call me Ishmael. Some years ago, never mind how long precisely, having little or no money in my purse, and nothing particular to interest me on shore, I thought I would sail about a little and see the watery part of the world. One ought not to be unkind to a woman merely on account of her plainness, any more than one had the right to take liberties with her merely because she was handsome. Living as I do with human beings, the more that I observe them, the more I am forced to conclude that they are selfish. Happy is the man who has broken the chains which hurt the mind, and has given up worrying once and for all. Be patient and tough. One day this pain will be useful to you. How do you know, poor fool? Perhaps out there, somewhere, someone is sighing for your absence, and with this thought my soul begins to breathe. Open here, I flung the shutter, when with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, 
Not a moment stopped or stayed he, yet with mien of lord and lady perched above my chamber door. There is no man, however wise, who has not at some point in his youth said things or lived a life, the memory of which is so unpleasant to him that he would gladly expunge it. And yet he ought not entirely regret it, because he cannot be certain that he has indeed become a wise man. Two monarchs then, who high renown received, followed the kingly way, their goal achieved. Two princes proud by lust, their reign abused, sought easier path, and their own steps confused. Seeing how sorrow eats you, defeats you. I'd rather write about laughing than crying, for laughter makes men human and courageous. Knock, and he'll open the door. Vanish, and he'll make you shine like the sun. Fall, and he'll raise you to the heavens. Become nothing, and he'll turn you into everything. Not that I have any doubt, but that justice would find me speedily enough if the powers above so ordained it. But she might surprise me in sleep, or overtake me in flight, or seize me with violence and the sword. And then I would have lost the only merit left me, that of making my death a free will atonement. Life is a tale, told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that man is who believes his native town to be the world than he who aspires to become greater than his nature will allow. Today our younger brother, Chen Da, went against our advice. He offended your excellency, and has been locked within your honorable manner. Since we have no way to save him, we have come to die with him. Oedipus knew the famous riddles. He was a mighty king, he was the envy of everyone. Now he struck a wave of terrible ruin. While you are alive, you must keep looking to your final day and not be happy till you pass life's boundary without suffering grief. For there is nothing lost that may be found if sought. I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life, and see if I could not learn what it had to teach, and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. You can love a person dear to you with a human love, but an enemy can only be loved with divine love. But I reckon I got a light out for the territory ahead of the rest, because Aunt Sally, she's going to adopt and civilize me, and I can't stand it. I've been there before. The moon glows on the river. Wind rustles the pine. Long night, clear evening. What are they for? Val Mickey the poet held all the moving world inside a water drop in his hand. The gods and saints from heaven looked down, and Valmiki looked down at the gods in the morning of time. Captain Nemo pointed at this prodigious heap of shellfish, and I saw that these mines were genuinely inexhaustible, since nature's creative powers are greater than man's destructive instincts. It is easy to go down into hell, Night and day the gates of dark death stand wide, but to climb back again, to retrace one's steps to the upper air, there's the rub, the task. Fools have a habit of believing that everything written by a famous author is admirable. For my part, I read only to please myself, and only what suits my taste. To save the family, abandon a man. To save the village, abandon a family. To save the country, abandon a village. To save the soul, abandon the earth. I think that at that time, none of us quite believed in the time machine. The fact is the time traveler was one of those who are too clever to be believed. You never felt that you saw all around him. You always suspected some subtle reserve, some ingenuity and ambush behind his lucid frankness. Oh, Captain, my Captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rack. The prize we sought is won. The most precious thing in life is its uncertainty. Leaving something incomplete 
makes it interesting and gives one the feeling that there is room for growth. I'm telling you honestly, I don't know if our society would be Bolshevik or fascist. Sometimes I think the best thing would be to concoct such an unholy mixture that not even God could untangle it. You men are fool enough, it seems, to dare to war with women, when for your faithful ally you might win us easily. You men are fool enough, it seems, to dare to war with women, when for your faithful ally you might win us easily. But I don't want to go among mad people, Alice remarked. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. How do you know I'm mad, said Alice. Well, you must be, said the cat, or you wouldn't have come here. But I don't want to go among mad people, Alice remarked. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. Well, how do you know I'm mad, said Alice. Well, you must be, said the cat, or you wouldn't have come here. Yet do not miss the moral, my good men, for St. Paul says all that's written well is written down some useful truth to tell. Then take the wheat and let the chaff lie still. Yet do not miss the moral, my good men, for St. Paul says all that's written well is written down some useful truth to tell. Then take the wheat and let the chaff lie still. He vaguely desired to walk around and around the body and stare, the impulse of the living to try to read in dead eyes the answer to the question. He vaguely desired to walk around and around the body and stare. The impulse of the living to try to read in dead eyes the answer to the question. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and immortality. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves, and immortality. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves, and immortality. Pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. The really great men must, I think, have great sadness on earth. Pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. The really great men, I think, have great sadness on earth. Happy is the man who has broken the chains which hurt the mind and has given up worrying once and for all. Be patient and tough. One day this pain will be useful to you. Happy is the man who has broken the chains which hurt the mind and has given up worrying once and for all. Be patient and tough. One day this pain will be useful to you. But I reckon I got a light out for the territory ahead of the rest, because Aunt Sally, she's going to adopt and civilize me, and I can't stand it. I've been there before. But I reckon I got to light out for the territory ahead of the rest, because Aunt Sally, she's going to adopt and civilize me, and I can't stand it. I've been there before. I'm telling you honestly, I don't know if our society would be Bolshevik or fascist. Sometimes I think the best thing would be to concoct such an unholy mixture that not even God could untangle it. I'm telling you honestly, I don't know if our society would be Bolshevik or fascist. Sometimes I think the best thing would be to concoct such an unholy mixture that not even God could untangle it. I'm telling you honestly, I don't know if our society would be Bolshevik or fascist. Sometimes I think the best thing would be to concoct such an unholy mixture that not even God could untangle it.